Here in Indianapolis, one of our favorites, he has been on the pole three times, and he is looking to win that Indy 500. It is Ed Carpenter. So let's talk about uh, the nerdy stuff. You had your first experience at Comic Con. How old is your son? Uh, he's nine now, so he, it was he was probably six, six or seven when I took him, um, and it was really didn't know what we were getting into, but. <laughs> You know, he's, he's a boy and likes superheroes and everything else, so we didn't have anything going on. So it's like, oh, we'll go, we'll go check it out. And it was fun. I think we spent, you know, maybe two hours there. But it was fun wandering around and checking out the costumes. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of merchants, a lot of stuff being sold. And uh, he certainly, I think he, he bought some, some sort of, like, mad scientist goggles or something is what he got out of there with but yeah i always warn parents that the the shopping is really amazing and if you don't go into it with limits for your kids you're going to take home everything (laughs) yeah and it's a lot of it's related to what you would think would be comic con but then a lot of it is just kind of somewhat random um you know it's, it's an interesting interesting crowd interesting event but he had a good time yeah one of the things that i like about the con that we have um uh, here, uh, PopCon, which is a, it's locally run and it's fans who run it, is it's pop culture. So it is, instead of like, I, because as big a nerd as I am with a, a nerdy podcast, the first time I went to Gen Con, I realized I'm not that kind of nerd. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that far out there. Yeah, but that's, that's what I think that's what I enjoyed more than anything was just seeing like some of the costumes and how intricate they are and clearly how much time people have invested in it is it's a whole other world that that I had never never seen before yeah I mean it's a it's an art form in itself and definitely a, a, a passion that has you know blown up because we used to think like comic-con was San Diego and now there's cons everywhere yeah to me like to me I thought it was just like a comic book swap meet of sorts but it's you know that's not really what it is at all uh do you have any i I mean you've you've grown up loving what you do i mean you're you're living the dream that's clearly your fandom uh, and you get to be a part of it every day Uh, do you have anything else that you know when we talk about fandom on this show it's it's something that you can talk about and never get tired of talking about something that makes you very excited other than indycar do you have do you even have time for that uh i mean heather and i have three kids and you know we really the we spend so much time traveling and and working and running running our race team that you know that's it's a lot of time so really the bulk of the time we have left we we want to spend with them and you know they're they're all at really fun ages now our daughter's 11 our oldest son's nine and then a six-year-old so our daughter's a gymnast and and rider both boys play hockey but our middle middle child is he's on a travel hockey team so you know we spend a lot of time at at rinks and gyms and um you know it's 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 fun guiding them through those processes and you know trying to give them the best opportunities and help them learn how to to be good competitive but also good sportsmen and and uh did you know much about hockey when your kids got into it not not a ton my brother played growing up so we both raced and he stopped racing and started playing hockey so i did travel with him and but i never played myself i can skate but not like a hockey player can skate so i had a basic knowledge more so than someone that never seen a hockey game before but it's it's a it's a great sport it's a lot of fun i really enjoyed traveling with them and i know far more about gymnastics than i ever thought i would have as well well between your indycar schedule and and now you have to travel hockey i mean are you ever home (laughs) not very much you know that's that's the i think i'm fortunate that they kind of all specialize in winter sports because it's it makes it great that we can be involved and do things as a family and and also with the gymnastics travel and hockey travel heather and i have to kind of split up so it'd be really hard if one of those activities was happening you know in season with our season um but it's it's a blast 
Very cool. Your fandom is your family, which is the, the greatest fandom to have of all. Well, I'm going to let you get uh, back to your fandom. Your family is here, and there are a lot of kids. It's a field trip that, that's out here as well. Yeah, my wife, Heather, helped organize a field trip, so I think there's 90-some fifth graders. Uh, that They've been at the track since 10 a.m., so they've had a long day of finishing up with dinner here at the smokehouse at the Brickyard, and uh, hopefully they had a fun day. Best of luck with the uh, Indy 500. Best of luck getting these 95 kids back to their mom and dads tonight. Thank you, Ed. Thanks. <laughs>